so here here i am today and i'm just want to really present you the what i have really done with the uh, navling itself and the coding uh, phase and the tutorial itself so uh, after really spending a few couple of hours uh, here and there searching on random uh, process out there uh, i'm really going to present you the time lapse version of what i have really done as usual you know what we really do uh, make some cool um, time lapse video of coding and all that design process and analogy itself so today's time lapse video is all about making the navling itself now yes we have really uh, made the navling itself uh, that is the first uh, essential founding step of building the face mash uh, uh, prominently making the UI itself so uh, just watch this first and, and I'll really get back to you so the time lapse starts in 3, 2, 1, boom!
so that I hope that you have really liked this time lapse process of what I have really made. Uh, essentially, I really want to show how this website really looks like. So currently in desktop, it just looked like this one. And on the mobile website, it just looked like this. On and that on the tapping out there, it really functions like this one. So you can really try out this website if you really want to. The link is always in the description. But is this really fl flawless? Is this really perfect? No. There are two issues with this. Uh, what I have really made out there. Number one. So the the essentially the f first thing that I have really made the the first project uh, I have really made was with just bare HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that copying all the code and really importing into the React itself really caused some issues around there. The problem with the React is like when you click the hamburger icon out there, it doesn't really uh, function without the double click itself, and it is supposedly it supposedly should work with just one single click. And I don't know what's the issue with it, and I'll really figure it out there. The second problem is like uh, the overflow hidden properties. So when I was just really working with HTML on CSS on the desktop itself and really was kind of optimizing it for the mobile experiences there i really faced absolute no issue for it but uh just when i really kind of uh deployed it on the s3 bucket on amazon and really try to really actually look on how it really looks upon my device itself then the issue really arose from the overplay itself so you can really check that out and we will just uh, refine the uh, issues and error along with what you have really gone so earlier my plan was to really just uh, kind of really make every video out there and then really compress it into small thing. But after making this video out there, so which is a couple several hours of long thing. Uh, and one thing I've really observed that the YouTube does only allow to upload only 12 hours of video, which is not really sufficient for me. Considering that uh, we have to really create a lot of content out there and really push the content itself. So what I have really done is to uh, kind of really make of uh, each of the boring videos from a particular topic itself like this one like nav link and which is also really going to come uh, soon afterwards later than this one so the first video will this this is the only the polished uh, video and the second one is a boring video and after when we really complete the every entire uh, process like just like the nav bar the home page about page and the login form or the multi-step ui form and then uh, what I'll really do is to really upload the polished and the professional tutorials out there. So in, in that polished video, you can really actually really able to really get to learn what I have really just gone through else and you really have, you can really follow up the coding uh, process that I will really be teaching out there. Because uh, once someone has really told that the teaching is also really one way of uh, learning things out there. So it will be really beneficial for me as well to really just kind of uh, go through and enjoy the process out there. So this was it guys. I really want to just uh, kind of share my experience about what it was to really uh, make, this, make through this process. And it was quite challenging because I have really never worked with React itself and it was kind of uh, fuzzy and just uh, there was some gaps that I have really need to fill it right now, but I'm really working on it. And soon it will really get uh, rectified as we really practice and much more else. So till then, if you have really uh, question, queries, comments, just uh, just there is a comment box below. Just make sure you really post down any comments, any thoughts that you really feel. Make sure to share this video on every other platform and really follow me on Instagram, Facebook itself because there I will post the stories which you can really follow and and there really can you really get the notification of which videos are really going to be posted in the future. So till then, stay connected and have a nice day.